The Corvette is going hybrid for the first time, but it's paired to a large displacement V8. As first customer Z06S begin to hit the road, Chevrolet has revealed its brand new electrified variant to go with it, the all-wheel drive Corvette E-Ray. Set to go on sale later this year in the US, it will be priced in the US from $104,295 for the coupe, rising to $111,295 for the convertible. Details on UK availability are yet to be disclosed. Despite being Corvette's first step into the world of electrification, the E-Ray retains its naturally aspirated 6.2-liter LT2 V8 as the base Stingray, keeping its signature soundtrack in play. Its individual power figures are identical, at 495 bhp and 470 pounds foot of torque, all being sent to the rear axle through an 8-speed, dual-clutch transmission. Augmenting this is a compact electric motor mounted on the front axle, providing an additional 160 bhp and 125 pounds foot of torque, leading to a combined power figure of 655 bhp, marginally lower than the 670 bhp of the track-focused Z06. Thanks to its four driven wheels, straight-line performance is the strongest of any road-going Corvette, with the 0 to 60 miles per hour sprint happening in 2.5 seconds and the quarter mile in just 10.5 seconds and 130 miles per hour, putting it ahead of the lighter Z06. Its dry weight is rated at 1,712 kg for the coupe, representing a 151 kg increase over the pure combustion Z06 due to the additional electrical componentry and 1.9 kWh battery pack. Designed to be an everyday supercar, Chevrolet says the E-Ray's all-wheel drive system continuously adapts to the road surface and alters power distribution depending on the use case. The hybrid system also allows for silent, electric only running up to 45 miles per hour providing the system has enough charge, although the compact battery pack means pure EV range will be limited to short distances. The E-Ray features the same wider bodywork as was initially seen on the Z06, which overall is 91.4mm wider than a standard Stingray. It also features the Z06's front bumper, although the rear end is bespoke. Buyers have plenty of choice when it comes to specification too, with four-wheel finishes and 14 exterior colors available, including three new colors for the 2024 model year. Exclusive to the E-Ray is a new decal package, plus carbon fiber wheels and exterior trim is also available. Behind its wider, staggered 20 and 21-inch wheels are standard Brembo carbon ceramic brakes, with the additional wheel width allowing for chunky 275 and 345 section tires front and rear. The E-Ray will be fitted with Michelin Pilot Sport all-season rubber as standard, but this can be swapped for more performance-biased Michelin Pilot Sport 4S rubber as part of the optional performance package. The Chevrolet Corvette E-Ray will go on sale later this year with prices starting from $104,295, making it just the next step of the C8 generation that's already seen extensive transformation over the models that came before. With the current generation Corvette in full factory right-hand drive production, the likelihood of it arriving in the UK is likely, although it's still too early for Corvette to confirm this for certain. The electric vehicle even has a distinctively designed ray-shaped badge on the trunk's lid. A button inside the cabin of the Corvette E-Ray changes how the car's electric motor is used. The E-Ray can even drive for a couple of miles using only the electric motor in case the owner wants to, say, drive through the neighborhood quietly early in the morning before firing up the loud internal combustion engine. This is only possible for, at most, 3 to 4 miles, though. As required by safety regulations, the E-Ray produces a sound, a low, oscillating whir, through external speakers when driving under electric power at low speeds. The car can also be set to charge the battery as the car drives if the driver wants to build battery power for later use. For racetrack driving, the hybrid system can be set for maximum short-term performance, allowing the lithium battery to use up most of its charge in a lap or two, or for more conservative, 
lap after lap use. The car will maintain a certain minimal state of charge in case it needs to use the front electric motor to help pull out of a skid, for instance. Carbon ceramic brakes are standard on the E-Ray. Carbon ceramic brake rotors are more resistant to fade, or loss of braking performance as the brakes heat up in hard use, compared to ordinary metal brake rotors. They are also lighter than metal rotors, something that was important in this case because of the added weight of the battery pack and electric motor. The current generation of the Corvette, the first with its engine behind the seats instead of under the hood, was engineered from the outset with this new hybrid version in mind. That means the Corvette's front trunk, a practical feature that helps give the car more storage space than most mid-engine sports cars, is still there in the E-Ray. The E-Ray is supposed to be a somewhat more mellow car, though, so the trim pieces around the edges of the side scoops, which are colored black on the Z06, are the same color as the rest of the body on the E-Ray.